All right, it is certainly warming up. And it's not even noon yet. So I've got the generator kind of set up. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Hanging out of the Harbor Freight. So I get just enough slack on this cord to be able to run it out Zip tied up to these things, which I was using for the tarp when I saw the leaky roof. By a busy road, so that should make that should help a little bit. All oh, right, so now we should have power. I zip tied it up along uh, those little D rings that I put on for the tarp just in case I gotta move. Tomorrow's gonna be hot, so I might as well just leave it wired up. Um, and I'll go out and snip those extra zip tie tails so it doesn't look so ghetto. Um, Check and make sure we got power somehow. Look at the microwave. A lot of you keep asking why I have two microwaves. It's because this one's a is freaking badass. And I really like it. It's got a bunch of options. It's an inverter microwave, so it can uh has a lot more sensitive settings. You can use it just to warm up and soften butter if you wanted to. It's that sensitive. Last microwave I had had a medium setting, but that only meant it would just it would run and turn off, and then run and turn off. This can actually um, limit the power it's putting into it, so it's really nice, really sensitive power levels. I can stick a half a stick of butter in there and hit the keep warm button, and it'll actually just get it soft instead of completely obliterating it into liquid butter. So. Um, and this one is uh, a microwave and a convection oven. I really want an oven again, so it's staying put. That's why I'm not just putting this one right there. I want an oven. And then even when this gets working, I still want this one because it's a nice microwave. And I just had to sacrifice a door and the stuff that was in there had to get put up in there. So, No biggie. Uh, at some point, I do want to... There's an outlet in here, so I some at some point want to drill a hole or actually add another outlet into this compartment so I can plug this in and then at some point this thing likes to bounce around a little bit, move side to side. So at some point I will secure this down somehow. Maybe I'll just put a block in between here and kind of break, push it down, hold it secure. But yeah, it looks like we got power. Too long, it'll melt my butter. That's where I store my butter. And most importantly, my air conditioner. So, right on, we are in business. Gonna see how long that gas lasts. Gonna keep going out and check it on the RV. I got the little, I cut a little strip of tarp and kind of screwed it onto the RV so it could kind of cover it and act as a flap so it's not so obvious. I got this bright red Jenny cranking away. I don't know. I didn't just kind of want to keep the rain off of it and keep, you know, don't want to advertise. I got a generator right there on the back of the RV. It's loud enough. Don't need to, I don't know. I just like having the cover over it. It just keeps it more low key and like I said, keeps the rain off of it. We're not having rain problem right now, so I don't know. I guess there's really not too much use for that flap. I would have liked to have finished my quiet box for that. 
But that's a lot of work, a lot more money, and I want to put that into the actual Onan generator because if that works, I will drop the Harbor Freight and have that as backup. Also, if I need to use my arc welder somewhere at any one point, I actually have kind of have ability to do that because that's a 220. So, and the Onan on this motorhome is not 220 volts. So, yeah, it's warming up. Nice day, though. Really nice day. out the window. Hold on. We've got air conditioning. Woohoo! Oh. Nice. Still on battery power. I don't know if I mentioned yet, but I did disconnect the converter because these older converters put out a lot more voltage than what newer electronics work on. Back in the 80s, I've read that older electronics would handle 18 some odd volts, but I've been noticing I've been popping all my incandescent bulbs. I bought a new package of them. They're all popping really bad and I looked up and found out these put out quite a bit more voltage than what um, modern day electronics can handle. So I disconnected it to save my bulbs and I was kind of got worried about the LEDs. So and anyway I just went into the breaker box and disconnected the neutral and so I think at some point I do want to hook a switch back up to that for like right now would be nice. There's a ton of solar so I don't need to worry about it. I can run my lights and my laptop. See, I'm gonna getting getting ready to do some editing. Got the laptop all hooked up to the to the inverter, and there's plenty of power, so I'm not gonna worry about um, battery power. Though I might actually go ahead and plug it into the wall now that I have power, just to make sure the batteries get a good charge. Mess to clean up and go through my tools. Still have kind of a disaster zone in here from uh, cleaning out my storage unit. And so slowly I've been kind of picking through and finding the stuff that needs to go into my toolboxes that I use more often and stuff I use less often into a separate or a different toolbox or just a box for storage. So, anyway, yeah, I got that plugged back in. Gonna use the generator while I have it. I know my batteries are not completely charged yet. Um, so I'm gonna let, make sure those get charged and use the power from the Jenny for the laptop and the air conditioner. Which I could I didn't even hear the generator. It didn't even didn't even seem to phase it when the AC kicked on, so um, So I think we're good. I mean, I know we're good. I'm just saying I might as well use the laptop off that while I'm making sure my batteries get charged. Play some video games while I got that Jenny going too, why not? Can't run an Xbox on the... Well, I can. I can run uh, the Xbox on the inverter, but the Xbox and the monitor both drain the battery pretty quick. Pretty comparable to the laptop, but a little, a little worse. And the laptop I need, I need to edit and when I'm trying to get to bed to help me drift off, I always gotta watch movies or something and it's just a bit better on electricity than running the Xbox and monitor. So. Um,
Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to try and get some rest. Maybe get some editing done. And enjoy my air conditioner. I hope you all are staying cool as well. Have a good day. Bye.